Hey everybody, welcome to another one of Chris's Bee Reviews. You were too kind if you were watching this video. <laughs> um, you know what, it's time that I review something that I don't normally get to get to review, and that's... <clears throat> I'm actually kind of pleased to say this as much as I'm expecting it to be skunky as hell. But, uh, the Saigon Export, uh, it's from Vietnam, and, and you don't normally get to try beers from... from those types of locations. So this is going to be a, a, a treat for me in, in some respect. Um, it's got a really cool looking dragon. It's, you know, I'll, I'll try to follow for you. Kind of follows up. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's how it goes up. It's called Sabeco. Or Sabeco. It's a 4.9% ABV at 350 milliliters per bottle. Uh, it's got some very, uh, very basic ingredients. You talk, I'm talking water, malt, rice, and hops. And of course, for, in Vietnam, uh, you're going to choose something like rice uh, instead of something like wheat. So, you know, we got a frilly, frilly cap here, alright? And if, if anybody out there is wondering how I'm expecting this to taste like a skunky beer, when, when you sell beers in individual bottles or as well as six packs, if, you, if they come in a clear or green bottle, uh, there is a chemical reaction uh, from the from the UV rays of the sunlight that changes and alters the taste of a beer that comes in a clear or green bottle, and the end result is the aroma and or the a skunky pungent. I'm sorry, I can't say pungent, but the skunky uh, taste of uh, one of those types of beers. Ooh, one thing I'm not really liking. I don't know if anybody can see this. If you peel this off a little bit, which it kind of almost did on its own, which is why I was curious about the rest of it. It's got some nasty, nasty stuff. I'm going to close this up so I don't get any of that in my beer. I was right about the skunkiness. I'm probably not going to like this beer, but I'm going to try to embrace the fact that it has rice in it. Because if something is brewed with rice, it can be made anywhere across the world. We've got a one finger head here, incredibly white, small to medium bubbles, typical looking lager or pilsner, very, very light yellow looking color. It doesn't say uh, on the beer bottle whether it's a lager or a pilsner, but you get the idea. Incredibly skunky aromas, just like I anticipated. I'm uh, drinking this out of an old speckled hen pint glass. I also have a fox embroidery in the back. Uh, pint glass is generally what this beer would be drank out of, so cheers. Ooh. You know what? Um, for a bland beer, for a beer that was made with four ingredients, well, four main ingredients. Um, it's got a little bit of a keen aftertaste. And when I mean keen, I don't mean sweet or sour or pungent um, or hoppy. I'm talking like kind of like a center of your tongue. Ooh, it's all. It's definitely coming from. Uh, from either the yeast or the hops, but it it's it's a it's a strange taste and it's not bad. Uh, if anything, I can say it's it's one of the more pleasant aftertastes that I've had of a, a beer of this caliber. And one thing that's great about these beers is you know that they're going to taste the same from the top to the bottom. So I think I'm going to. It's, it's pretty easy to make your decision on uh, reviews like this. Uh, of beers like this, so I'm just gonna say that this is a, uh, you know, I'm gonna give this a a six and a half out of ten for what it is. It, it's it's good. Um, I still expect a a lager. Um, this is a lager for sure. Now that I've tasted it, I, I really expect a lager to try to have a little bit more of a flavor, a little bit more of a body. This beer, you get really uh, watered down approach as much as it is carbonated. 
and if, if, I'm, if I'm buying a beer, I, I don't generally want it to taste like water. So on on that note alone, um, I, I'm gonna you know what I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna stick with six and a six and a half out of ten for uh, for this kind of beer. So uh, that's it. Thanks for joining me. Another one of my fan fabulous beer reviews. Don't drink and drive. Drink responsibly. Cheers to beers.